In this video, I will show you how to reduce a circuit with dependent source to a thevenin and a not unequivalent circuit. In this video, I will assume you know how to apply KVL in a loop, how to apply KCL in a node, how to apply mesh and super mesh analysis and node and super node analysis in a circuit. When a circuit contains one or more dependent sources and we are asked to reduce that circuit into a thevenin or not unequivalent circuit, those kind of circuit falls into two categories. First one is the circuit with resistors, one or more voltage sources or current sources and dependent source or dependent sources. The circuit I will show you will fall into first category and the second category is the circuit will contain only resistors and dependent source or sources as those circuits will have no independent voltage or current sources we will use a new method which is known as test source method to solve that circuit which i will show you in a separate video this is our circuit. We have to draw the thevenin and not on equivalent circuit across the load resistor RL. See, this is our load resistor RL. Let's say this is A terminal and this is B terminal. When we will convert this circuit into a thevenin equivalent circuit. That means we will convert the entire network to a single resistor RTH, which will be in series with a voltage source VTH within A and B terminals or if I convert that circuit to a not equivalent circuit I will get a current source IN which will be in parallel with not on resistance RN within A and B terminals. Now see the Thevenin and not on equivalent circuits are dual of each other that means if I can draw Thevenin circuit I can draw not on circuit or if I can draw not on circuit I can draw Thevenin circuit how do we do that how do we convert Thevenin circuit to not on circuit by using source transformation theorem numerically the value of not on resistance is equal to the value of Thevenin resistance. So if I want to convert Thevenin circuit to Norton circuit, the Norton current I n will be equal to Thevenin voltage over Thevenin resistance or Vth over Norton resistance. Or if I want to convert Norton circuit to Thevenin circuit, how do we do that? Vth will be equal to Norton resistance get multiplied with Norton current or not on current get multiplied with Thevenin resistance. See, in both cases we are applying source transformation theorem. So, while solving the circuit with dependent sources, we will use RTH or not on resistance RN equal to open circuit voltage VTH over short circuit current I n formula to calculate Norton resistance. Now let me proceed with the circuit. At first step we will remove the load resistor R L across A and B terminals. Let's say I replace that load resistor R L here. It was connected between A and B terminals. After that to calculate Thevenin resistance we will use VTH over IN formula. This VTH is known as open circuit voltage. That means the voltage between this A and B terminal will be open circuit voltage which will be our Thevenin voltage in this circuit. So to calculate Thevenin voltage I will use mesh analysis and I will assume you know how to apply mesh analysis in a circuit. Let's say this is our mesh 1 and in mesh 1 the mesh current is I1. Now see if I look at mesh 2 you will see mesh 2 will have a open circuit portion therefore 
the mesh to current which I will denote with I2. should be equal to 0 because a b path is open now let me indicate the polarities of the resistor this side will be positive this side will be negative this side will be positive this side will be negative if there could be any value of i2 this side should be positive and this side could be negative as i will apply mesh analysis let's say i will apply shops voltage law in mesh 1 at first I will see this 30 volt its negative terminal first positive terminal later so its voltage will be plus 30 after that I will see 5 ohm minus C I1 is the loop current and I1 will be equal to this I X as I will have to calculate I n also let's say i will denote this ix with ix1 therefore this will be 10 ix1 here i1 will be equal to ix1 therefore if i apply kvl in mesh 1 i will get plus 30 minus 5 i1 after that i will see this 7 ohm i1 is going in this direction i2 should be going in this direction so it will be minus 7 i1 minus i2 equal to 0 from which I will get 12 I1 equal to th equal to 30 therefore I1 will be equal to 2.5 ampere I1 is equal to 2.5 ampere after that I will apply KVL in mesh 2 I will see this 7 ohm resistor its positive terminal first negative terminal later so its voltage will be minus 7 i2 minus i1 here i2 will have a value of 0 after that i will see this 10 ix1 its positive terminal first and negative terminal later as i1 is equal to ix1 therefore it will be 10 i1 minus 10 i1 after that i will see this open circuit voltage VOC or VTH its positive terminal first negative terminal later so its voltage will be minus VTH equal to 0 I2 is equal to 0 so here I will get 7 I1 minus 10 I1 equal to VTH or VTH will be equal to minus 3I1 as I1 is equal to 2.5 here I will get minus 7.5 volt in this circuit VTH will be equal to minus 7.5 volt after calculating VTH I will connect A and B terminal with a short circuit and that short circuit will have a current flow of i n the current through a b path is i n here i will also use mesh analysis to calculate i n let's say this is our mesh one the clockwise current is i one the clockwise loop current in mesh two is i two let's say the current that is flowing through this 5 ohm is ix2 therefore this dependent source will have a current of 10 ix2 or here i1 will be equal to ix2 or that will be equal to 10 i1 now i will apply kvl in mesh 1 I will get plus 30 minus 5 by 1 see this side will be positive this side will be negative this terminal should be positive this terminal should be negative this should be positive and this should be negative so here I will get minus 7 I1 minus I2 is equal to 0 
from which I will get minus 12 I1 plus 7 I2 is equal to minus 30 or if I further simplify it I will get 12 I1 minus 7 I2 equal to 30 this will be equation number let's say 3 after that I will apply KVL in mesh 2 this will be minus 7 I2 minus I1 minus 10 I1 equal to 0 so here I will get 3 I1 plus 7 I2 is equal to 0 let's say this will be our equation number 4 now if I solve equation 3 and 4 I will get I1 is equal to 2 ampere and I2 is equal to minus 0 0.8 5 7 ampere now see in this circuit i1 is equal to dependent source current i x2 this i2 is the loop current that is flowing th from this point through this path to up to this point which is indicated by the short circuit current or not on current i n this will be equal to i n so here i n will be equal to minus 0 0.857 ampere so I know VTH which is equal to minus 7.5 volt I know not on current I n which is equal to minus 0 0.857 ampere therefore I can calculate Thevenin resistance RTH which is equal to VTH over not on current I n whose numerical value will be equal to not on resistance Rn if I divide minus 7.5 with minus 0 0.857 I will get 8.75 ohm as we have Vth In Rth and Rn we can draw Thevenin and not on equivalent circuit but look here Vth is equal to minus 7.5 that means the negative terminal of Vth will be in upward direction and positive terminal of Vth will be in downward direction as In is equal to minus 0 0.857 this minus sign indicates that the direction of In should be in downward direction so this will be our Thevenin circuit and this will be Norton circuit